I'm trying to film a video with my DSLR because the video quality of my cell phone sucks and <laughs> you guys are on a selfie stick right now and I'm in the bathroom because I gotta use the mirror to film and this is probably not gonna last very long because it's very heavy. So I'm just gonna show you guys my current view. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna put this bad boy on a tripod and we'll just do a July favorites video or something. Are we okay? Good? No? Are we here down? That's not okay. That's not okay. I'm gonna check it again because I moved it up. This sucks. Hopefully it Get me to take a picture. All right, it's crooked. I checked it and we're good. I just hope that mid video, it doesn't go blurry or anything cause that's gonna suck. So I think in like five, 10 minutes, I'm gonna check it. Five minutes, two minutes, okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lindsay, and my video camera is broke. So I can't really vlog. I did try to vlog with my phone but it just sucked. It just sucks, like sucked. So I am going to improvise today and I guess talk about vacations, some July favorites, um, some surprises we have in store for the future and so on and so forth. So let's get started. Don't know what that is. Ugh, everything is so far away. Now that I'm focused again and I took a picture of myself, let's get started. I did use my hand to take off a little bit of lipstick because I was like, dang girl, that's bright. Anyways. Awkward. Josh's friend is working on our fireplace in the back and Josh left for lunch and I said I'll stay behind because I gotta do the video and everything. So his friend's like walking through the courtyard back and forth and I'm literally, there's a window right there and a window right there with the blinds open. So <laughs> it's just a little awkward, but that's okay. Um, anyways, okay. So here is our first surprise. I said it in the other video. I don't know why I'm holding this, but I like to hold things because otherwise it's like, what do I do with my hands, you know? Okay, so for the first, he's coming back through, hang on. This is so weird. Okay. Okay, so for the, I don't know why I'm whispering. For the first video my that I did with my phone, um, I mentioned that we are on a diet again. A diet again. So yeah, we're on a diet again. And um, it is because in, how many weeks? One, two, three. About three and a half, four weeks, we are leaving for our next cruise. I know, you guys are like, didn't you just go on a cruise? Yes, we did, but this one has been planned for a very long time. Um, Josh's family does a cruise like every other year. So it's like a family cruise all together and we are gonna go pick up the boys. Well, I, okay. I am going to go to Utah for some more training and then I'm going to go down to Kansas to pick up the boys around the weekend of the 13th and 14th and then I will come back. They will go to school the 17th, 18th, and 19th and then that Sunday we will leave for our trip. We initially thought they started school the 24th. We were told the wrong information from their school. So, um, Unfortunately, they are going to miss the week of school instead of two to three days, so that stinks. But anyways, um, yeah, we're going to go on a cruise just down to the Caribbean. We're going to be on the Royal Caribbean. <laughs> Did you see what I did there? We're going to be on the Royal Caribbean, and we're going to go down to, I think it's St. Thomas, St. Martin, and then the Royal Caribbean um, cruise itself. Or, the Royal Caribbean Island itself, I don't even forget what it's called. Something K. Royal K? I don't know. Anyways, so we will be gone for that week and then 
Uh, September, my biggest fan. <laughs> Got you. And now friend D from Australia. I've never met her before. She's just been a follower of my vlogs and then we got to talking and we've actually FaceTimed a couple times. We surprised D and her husband and we FaceTimed them while we were in Italy. I think it was Positano that, no, 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 Sicily. Yes, Sicily, because we got lost. So uh, they live in Australia, but they are coming to the States and I think they get in around September 2nd. So we'll be hanging out with them and everything. And then sometime we are going to um, throw in a trip to Universal because we didn't get to do it over the summer. Um, I had a couple friends who went there and they just looked miserable and hot and it was crowded uh, due to Harry Potter World. I am a Harry Potter freak. So I've been anxiously awaiting to go to Harry Potter World and I asked Josh, I said, instead of Disneyland, can we just do Harry Potter? Because, I don't know. I just wanted to do Harry Potter for Halloween time. I love, love, love Disneyland. I know we'll get a trip in there sometime, but maybe for something a little different, we do Harry Potter Land in October, September, October-ish. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that. And then in December, for sure... <laughs> This is our big one, okay guys? Are you ready? Are you ready? So in December, well January 1st, I will be turning 30. So for my 30th birthday, Josh decided that he wanted to take me somewhere special. And first he was gonna take me to Paris and we were gonna do Disneyland Paris. And it was just gonna be him and I, but we just did our year, a big European trip. And so I said, no, for my, well, he's like, do you want to go somewhere with the kids or do you want to go somewhere uh, just us two? And I said, for my 30th, I want to see the boys. Like, I want them to be there and, you know, spend my birthday with us. I, you know, they're gone for the summer, so I am really missing them. But that would just mean a lot to me if I could spend my 30th with the kids and with everybody that I love. So... Uh, we decided we are going to go to, I feel like I need a drum. We're going to Hawaii. Just Honolulu, we didn't do Kauai because we are going to go stay at Alani in Hawaii. Well, we're doing like three or four days, like, um, just around the Waikiki area and just do all like the Pearl Harbor, Waikiki Beach, maybe the aquarium, the zoo, Diamond Head, you know, just all that good stuff. And then the last three or four days, I think we are doing Alani for my birthday. So I'm super excited. <sighs> I, I mean, I'm so excited for that trip. I love Hawaii so much. I used to go all the time when I was little for two weeks at a time um, every summer. So I haven't been there for uh, 10, almost 11 years. I haven't been to Hawaii and Josh has never been to Hawaii. And I talk about Hawaii all the time. My dad lived there for a while. Um, so it's just like, it, it's special to us. Yeah, I'm super excited for that trip. And I'll be at Christmas break. So, and then we don't have anything planned for next year, but I'm sure we'll have a lot planned. Um, as far as some of my July favorites, it's so random, guys. I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm reaching to make a video because I was just like, <gasps> this one is so nasty. I mean, it was so boring. But um, yeah, I'll throw in some of my favorites. Um, okay, so as far as my nails, which you guys can see, they're just like a bright Barbie pink, I call them. And they are by Sally Hansen's Miracle Gel in the color Shockwave. So. That is one of my favorites for the summer. I'm not really a pink type girl, but it's fun to just have a little bit of pink nails for the summer. The rest of the year, you will never find me with pink nails, ever. I I don't know, I just think, I think of just, not trashy girls, but I don't wanna come off wrong, so I'll just end it at that. 
And um, okay, so for my favorites, I have these two little, just you know, like sample pack from Stella. I just, I didn't know what color I love the best and they're so expensive that I just didn't want the wrong color. I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing Biso by Stella. I freaking love Stella, okay? This is the first time I've ever bought like a nicer lipstick. Well, besides, I used to buy Myth. I went through that stage. I used to buy Myth all the time from MAC where I had to have the nude lips and the bright blonde hair and kind of like wild, almost porn star makeup. <laughs> so I that was the last time I bought that. But these are kind of like um, more of a stain, like a lip gloss, lipstick type thing stain on your lips. And they last, it lasts so long. It lasts through drinks and everything. I mean, this color will last until tonight. I guarantee it. It's happened to me so many times. And the next day, I've woken up and I've still had a little bit on my lips. So I'm definitely going to invest in... Why is my phone just... My phone just is just like recording what I'm saying. Isn't that weird? Anyways. I didn't even touch it. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to invest in the full size of these. So... Also, what I am enjoying, but I don't know if I'll actually buy it again because, I mean, it didn't do like a Shazam type of job or a wham bam. I think, what am I saying? It didn't do a spectacular, amazing, oh my god, job. Um, Too Faced Better Than Sex, I got it for the first time. I used to wear Benefit, they're real, and I really love that one. Um, then everybody's like, no, get better than sex. It's so much better. It's gonna turn off on me, my sentence, that's cool. All right. Like the only thing I could think of that really helped my skin besides the humidity was this um, Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream. It's got salicylic acid in it, and I would not like put a full face of makeup on sometimes. Like I would just put this BB cream on and some mascara in the evenings and I I noticed like it really helped my skin clear up for a while and then I <laughs> I got back to Vegas from our trip and it just went again because I wasn't wearing this I wasn't wearing any makeup in Vegas and plus there's no humidity here so I started wearing that again um also their real remover from benefit it's a little sample but oh my gosh this stuff is so bomb when I'm doing like eyeliner or mascara, if I mess up a little, I just take a Q-tip and remove just a little and it comes right off, like magic. I don't have to sit there and rub and scrub and whatever. I mean, this stuff just takes it off, like so easily and so well. Um, okay, so last but not least, I was never a fan of shirts like this, where it was like a baby doll top, but this, or this shirt is by Stylus and you can find it at JCPenney's. I freaking love this shirt so much. It's so cute and yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. I was just randomly grabbing stuff. I also like am really in love with this dress. It's by Vera Wang. Well, simply, let's not get fancy. Simply Vera Wang um, and it's from Kohl's. So, I love it. I've worn it so many times already. I wish like if I can go back and find it in different colors, I will. I will go do that because it's so comfy and it's cute and it's got a little flair to it. So anyways, I'm just rambling. I'm going to try to get this video together. I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be like um, pure chaos, I guess. It's going to be a smorgasbord of... <laughs> Of videos I don't know I don't know what it's gonna be and I'm so sorry but hopefully next week we'll be back to our regular vlogs and he'll be normal and I will be getting ready for a bunch of stuff and Josh will be out of town this week and next week <sighs> so I really feel like I only have like three days to do all this but anyways this is my fingers crossed that I can get it all done, in case you were wondering what that was. I'm just rambling, but anyways, I will talk to you guys later.
This feels weird ending the video like this. I feel like I should have had a like closure speech, but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.